<laughs> Hi guys, it's Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming. Um, and this outfit might get familiar to you because I am going to film, I think, three videos today wearing the same outfit. So, I apologize for that. But, um, y yesterday we started, or Tuesday, I'm sorry, um, Tuesday night we started, um, or I started a brand new class. Um, and, um, it's a knit, it's a new knitting class and we're knitting a stranded hat. And hopefully this is what the hat is going to look like whenever I get done with it. <laughs> we shall see. Um, so, um, this is a hat that, um, the teacher, um, designed and, um, we will find out if I can get it to come looking close to this. I'm actually thinking I might. Um, I did have a problem because I wasn't paying attention in class. <laughs> I don't know who would have ever thought I would have actually paid attention in class. Um, but I, um, since we are carrying um, both yarns around, um, you have to tack it up at certain points and and I well because I was working on the stupid part um and well let's just say I just wasn't paying attention so I had to go to um to the night that they have available for people to come in to crochet and um knit and you know do whatever they're doing um, so I could learn, um, what it was that I was doing and, um, or learn what I was not doing and what I needed to do. So I did that and I stayed for a little bit and I was working on the hat and, um, my teacher said, I'm doing a wonderful job, which was really great. Um, but I need to... Um, I do have some areas where the black is, okay, well, okay, the yarns that I decided to use um, is this Lamb's Pride Worsted, and she said I can probably get like three hats out of this, um, maybe, or two for sure, possibly three. Um, this stuff is uh, kind of brutal to work with. It... It is stringing, you know, getting, I don't know how to describe it, but the teacher said it's happened with a couple of us in the class. And, she, and the teacher said she's worked with this stuff for ever and has never seen it happen. So um, it might just be something, you know, new with the yarn, but it is, it's getting um, kind of tangly. Um, but anyway, this stuff, I mean, it's not the greatest stuff in the world. It's 85% uh, wool, 15% mohair, and it is a number four weight yarn. And there are 190 yards per skein, and the color is black. Okay. Um, the other one I have is a Malabrigo Rios. And the color is 695 Peachy. And it is a 100% Superwash Merino. And there are 210 yards. And this is the color of that. It has peaches and oranges and all kinds of pretty colors in it. So, now, when I'm knitting these together, this is what, oops, I see it's curling again. This is what the hat is starting to look like. So, there we go. How cool is that? Um, I had a lot of problems making this um, Latvian braid, but it did come out right. Uh, so... 
This is what the inside of it looks like because I'm carrying them all over. My black is tighter than my peachy color. So um, on my second hat that I do, I just have to learn how to make the black just a little bit looser. Um, but I am working with, um, the black is in my left hand. So I'm continental knitting kind of sorta with my left hand and English or throwing with my right. Um, so, um, I'm, it, it, you know, hey, it's working. Um, so this is what it's looking like so far. I will have to put some extra rows in here because I'm about, I have, um, I finished num row number eight and I have, um, five more rows of the pattern of the middle pattern. Um, which is this part right here to go. And um, and I am um, knitting pretty tight. So this um, middle part that's right here, I might have to put some extras in there. Um, I'm supposed to do uh, two rows of um, the peachy, two rows of the black, then two rows of the peachy, but I might have to add, um, I think I might start three, three and three, or maybe just do two, 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 and if I have to add any more, do two and two more. I'm not sure. Um, and then we start the decrease, which is 19 rows, um, and there will be a pattern um, for the decrease. And... Um, you can see a little bit of it right there and then the top of it right there. So there'll be a little bit um, decreased there and then the majority of it will look like that part right there. So that is um, my hat. And um, I'm super excited to um, have been able to do this. I think it's totally awesome that um, I actually have been doing this. So, um, yeah, wish me luck on finishing it. And um, <laughs> I'm kind of excited um, because uh, I'm ready to move on to a couple of these. Um, and I know that a lot of them use more than one strand at a, or two strands at a time. But you know what? If I can use two strands, I can use three, four, twelve. I just have to work it somehow. Not sure how yet. But um, I don't know. I'd really like to see the inside of one of these. Um, so... Um, that's all for me right now. Thank you guys for watching. Um, you guys have a great day, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.